Alex Dimitri reports it takes used shells to make new oysters. When this appetizer is gone, it's not forgotten. Oyster shells are actively sought out by the Oyster Recovery Partnership. They came to us and they asked to save their shells for them, so they provided us with bins. They picked them up. The Boatyard Bar and Grill in Annapolis saved almost half a million shells last year alone. One of more than 300 restaurants and markets helping the Oyster Recovery Partnership's recycling effort. Last year we recycled 34,000 bushels, which equates to about 1,200 tons of oyster shell. The shells all end up in a storage yard outside Cambridge on the eastern shore and right next door to the University of Maryland's Horn Point Lab, where oyster larvae are raised by the billions, which are then released onto recycled shells that take a year to prepare. The Oyster Recovery Partnership obtains the shell, ages it, washes it, containerizes it, and loads it in and out of our setting tanks. Up to 10 baby oysters called spat attached to each shell. They are then planted on oyster bars to grow new generations of oysters, which in turn filter and clean water and create some positive marketing for the restaurants. So it is a win-win. Oysters are being enjoyed here and we're saving the bay. This recovery program really does boil down to an old saying. The phrase, one man's trash is another man's treasure, could not be more true um, than it is with this because this is a byproduct from these restaurants that would otherwise end up in landfills. Alex Dimitrik, WJZ. Recycling oyster shells also keeps restaurants uh, costs down, saving as much as $300,000 on waste removal fees.